similar to the Soviet 9P-148 armed with Conkers and the French VAB Mephisto armed with hot missiles. China also developed a vehicle-mounted anti-tank guided missile system, the AFT-9. HJ-9 development began in the early 1980s and finished in the late 1990s. It was unveiled to the public officially in a military parade in 1999. The AFT-9 is also proposed for the export customers. Overall, it is an advanced anti-tank missile system. The AFT-9 combines a cost-effective vehicle platform with powerful anti-tank missiles. The weapon system is built on the WZ-550 4x4 chassis. As a result, it shares many automotive parts with other vehicles in the Chinese army. The crew of three includes the commander, the driver, and the gunner. The optical and guidance systems are located in the launcher with two HJ-9 missiles in both sides. The wheel chassis allows for good mobility on roads with a maximum speed of up to 95 km per hour and a range of 600 km. The turbocharged diesel engine provides up to 320 horsepower. The large wheels and 4x4 drive provide a, re a reasonable cross-country mobility in all but the most difficult terrain. The AFT-9 is fully amphibious and can cross calm water obstacles. The AFT-9 is armed with more Chinese HJ-9 heavy anti-tank missiles, which developed by Norinco. It is designed to engage main battle tanks, ammo vehicles, and fortifications. The HJ-9 has a maximum range of 5.5 km and a minimum range of 100 meters guided by semi-automatic command to lie of sight laser beam riding. Claim penetration of raw homogeneous armor is 120 cm, which is greater than the HJ-8. The missile can mount various warheads including a tandem charge, high-explosive anti-tank sharp charge, high-explosive or thermal for use against non-armor point targets, bunkers, and fortifications. The vehicle has a retractable weapon station with four launchers that are ready to use. In traveling mode, missile launchers are retracted inside the hull. This weapon station is controlled remotely. Also, there are eight reload missiles stored inside the hull so a total of 12 missiles are carried. Missiles are reloaded automatically. Rate of fire is about 2 missiles per minute. The mobility of the platform and the standoff range of the missiles are remain factors that determine the survivability of the AFT-9. Additionally, the steel hull protects the crew from small arms fire and shell splinters. The HJ-9 missiles are lodged from under armor protection. Collective NBC protection is present on the vehicle. Smoke rally launchers are fitted for self-defense.